Hello, welcome to episode two of our From Russia With Love. Let us play. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade my pistol, because I use it so much. Hardest difficulty. Away we go. Hardest difficulty. Let me pause really quick. Uh, make sure your subtitles are on. There we go. So I, I watched one of the videos on this that said that they made this game exactly like the movie. I mean, they talk a lot of the, the similar things, but I mean, it's really not as close as they claim it to be. I don't know if shooting his grenade was the uh, most stealthy thing to do. I'm going to be trying to do this nice and quick. But you're not moving. How can you secure the perimeter if you're not moving? Nice and quiet. Let's shoot that radio. Oh, I love that rate of fire upgrade so much. Contact firing! That's how you... I need a bigger stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade my clip size. There we go. Wow. Don't you shoot at me, sir. Sit down. Let's get the key to over here.
not as talented as I would like to be. Just myself, I thought I heard people. Special MBO. I don't think he's gonna move. Kill him fast. Almost be full. Now there's gonna be a guy with the radio up here. Be careful not to get spotted. Maybe you can hear my controller clicking. I think it's pretty loud because I'm like, yeah, like that. It's pretty loud. Too easy. <laughs> That guy there. That guy got me spotted many times. Maybe I'm gonna wait for him. Stay alert. spotted there. I remember one of these levels has a, a bond moment of enter the secret room. And when me and Justin used to play this together, we used to think that was so hilarious. It, was, it is still kind of funny, but not as, as funny as we first thought it. And then there's just also like the funny elevator music and I post that believe. If you just tap the squat button over and over and over again, as you like your kind of teabagging or almost like your teabagging or something, it goes really hilarious with the uh, with the music. Rex 
record time, Mr. Gray. You are, you are indeed the killer I'm looking for. When do I get to kill the real James Bond? After he steals from the Russians their new Lexor decoding machine. And Bond is going to do it for us? We assume that's who MI6 will send. There is a girl in the Russian consulate in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova, who I've ordered to help. She believes I am still with KGB. Won't MI6 suspect it's a trap? My reading of the British mentality is that they always see a trap as a challenge. And then you can avenge the death of our Dr. No. Let Bond's death be a particularly unpleasant and humiliating. I look forward to it. And for my next miracle? You're going to need a miracle, James, to explain where you've been all week. Oh, money, Penny. Let me tell you the secret of the world. You'll have time for that later, 007. Step into my office immediately. The cord on that phone looks extremely short. Extremely short. Excuse me, why don't I look through this folder thing really quick? Oh, a dinner jacket. We know. I feel like wearing that. It seems you have an admirer, a woman in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova, who's fallen quite in love with you. But I've never even heard of a Tatiana Romanova. Of course, girls do fall in love with pictures of fi film stars. But not a Russian cipher clerk with a file photo of a British agent. Ridiculous, isn't it? No, it's some sort of trap. Precisely, and the bait is a brand new lector, a Soviet decoder machine. The CIA has been after one of those for years. And so have we. When she contacted Kerim Bey, head of Station T in Turkey, she said she wanted to defect, and she'd turn over the lector to us on one condition, that you went to Istanbul and brought her and the machine back to England. The whole thing is so fantastic, it just might be true. You're booked on the 8.30 flight to Istanbul. Q is waiting for you. <clears throat> so I'm going to be skipping the different gadgets and what they do. Oh, the one who's predicting that one day we'll all have computers on our desktops and be able to communicate on them. Ridiculous. Absurd. <laughs> Good morning, Devil Air 7. Oh, good morning, Q. How have you been? Busy inventing things? Not as busy as you've been destroying them. Follow me, 007, and try not to break anything. I'm just going to skip all this stuff and what it does. It's... Is there something over here? What are you doing? It's just an engine. I'm just going to skip all these. You guys can see that other spots don't matter. Typical terrorist situation, 007. There's a bomb somewhere in the training area. You have to find it, equipped only with your laser watch and guns. You have a laser... You have a laser watch, a pistol... And a handgun to disarm a bomb. Sounds easy enough. It's kind of funny. Only with your laser watch and guns. That's it. That you can't have anything else. Though. the clip size on this when I can when I get enough watching me call it I'm gonna randomly search through this if you don't mind just hold up don't shoot me for a second while I look for some like body armor in a filing cabinet I love that explosion frozen the melee attacks on these guys take forever Oh, I got a 
the Tachi case. Keeps locking the wall. It's kind of over here. Really, I had to do that. Oh! Goodness. Like, the thing won't lock on the correct. Hold on. Hold up, bomb. I gotta search through here. I gotta get some research points. I don't have much health left. I would like to go back really quick. No, never mind. Either I'm going to fail here or I'm going to succeed here. Congratulations, 007. Your training is complete. Now use this device to get yourself to Istanbul. An airline ticket. Oh, genius. I expect you to return my equipment, along with the Lector device, in pristine condition. I'll bring it back. From Russia, with love. Oh, how clever. How clever. I was a minute and 22 seconds too long. Whatever. Whatever, it's stupid, but whatever. Everything else I got, though. Uh, so yeah. Save my current game. Yes, sir, I would like to do that. Accessing blah blah blah. So, thank you guys for watching episode 2 of our From Russia with Love Let Us Play. We'll see you guys next part.